everybody. All right, so we'll keep it moving. He's a friend of the Comedy Boulevard. Put your hands together for Fernando Alessandri, everybody. All right, thank you. Wow, that was a lot of energy. <laughs> Mine's gonna be a little different. <laughs> Can't top the zoo stuff. <laughs> the second schizophrenia going around today. Uh, let's see. Um, a lot of social commentary I want to do. Uh, where do I start? Politics, maybe? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> no, this is a short one. I, I'm wondering when they're going to create this post, because I know so far all the presidents usually have a first lady, and uh, they keep getting older, these presidents. Some of them, I think it's time to move along. And uh, so I'm pretty sure this one, if he wins again, he's going to have a first aid. <laughs> um, I wish I could go into politics, but I think I'm a little too forthcoming. <laughs> I don't mean I'm honest, I just mean I'm just coming forth. <laughs> um, all right, passive, passive aggressive stuff. Um, anybody ever try to learn Sicilian? So I struggle with the verb tenses. One of them is the passive aggressive. And it's like, hey, you have a nice family. Watch out for them. Just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> They also have the passive possessive. Hey, Vinny, where'd you get that bike? Oh, it was just here. <laughs> it's mine now. And they don't bother with like the future perfect or all those weird, weird ones, but they do keep the present tense. <laughs> Let me try, this may be totally lame, which is fine. <laughs> I was trying to think of like, if you're in the mafia, first of all, they're getting politically correct too. So you're not, you're not a goon, you're not a thug, you're a muscle worker. <laughs> and when you first learn to be a muscle worker, they wanna train you. And so level one is you're an eavesdropper. Eavesdropper is code for hanging a guy off the balcony <laughs> to, get, to get some information. <laughs> and there was a guy that went a little too high and he dropped him and he had to go tell the boss, I think I overheard somebody. <laughs> and I think level two, so then the guy says, oh, well, you got a problem with the boss. You're, you're in a spot there because you weren't supposed to let him die. And so, oh, well, what's level two? Oh, when you get promoted, you become a, a spot remover. And you deal with the guy who fucked up at the first level. All right. Actually, I'm trying to go clean, so erase that word. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get my act cleaner, more family friendly. Sorry, I'm still on notes. <laughs> Passive aggressive, if you ever date a yoga instructor, I had not even kissed this woman and she already said, you should do breath work. <laughs> the scene out there is changing for murders. Murders used to be like, you know, someone maybe you could spot, like, yeah, that could be a killer. Now you can't even tell who's gonna be a killer or not because they still go to their yoga class. <laughs> So what they just did was premeditated. <laughs> Thank you, it's a very generous audience. <laughs> and am I the only one that is like attention starved? Like this is our culture, right? How many of us want a best, like a, want a podcast, want the YouTube channel? We all want this stuff. I've already decided that if I want a bestseller, I better just switch to designing basements. <laughs> All right, that's terrible. <laughs> You're confirming that. <laughs> Maybe it works in the other order. I used to design basement. God, bestseller three years in a row. <laughs> All right. Whatever happened to the Hitlers? <laughs> what? You ever wonder, like, did they open some grocery stores? Like. Become professors? Who do you have for math? Oh, I got Hitler. Who do you got? This is weird, right? The family line just kind of disappears. Does anybody here run? Anybody marathons? Anybody? Woo! No? No runners? Yep. You are? Okay, cool. Well, recently I was told I got into the Berlin Marathon. I was so excited. I'm going to fly to Germany, run in their marathon. 
But I started looking at the email a little closer and it made me a little nervous. It was like, congratulations, you have made it into the Berlin Marathon. <laughs> now you pay close attention to these rules. You must follow all these rules to guarantee the purity of our race. <laughs> 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 Um, all right, I used to work at prison. <laughs> but I wanted to be different, because everybody there was so jaded. So I'd be like, hey, big felon. <laughs> Start a club, like, join our felonship. <laughs> Actually, they got kind of excited with, with, with this Trump guy. Um, it's... The whole Trump thing is, there's so much humor in it. But I actually saw felons be excited and inspired. Like, oh my gosh, if that guy can get away with that, there's hope. There's reform. Like, I, I'm serious. That was real. It was fascinating. All right, what else? Um, I haven't been timing it, so I have no idea where I am. Thank you. Um, other weird topics came up, and you know how with their generations, I don't follow them all, Gen Z, Gen X, Gen Y. All I know is I think I'm part of the baby groomer generation. A lot of those about my age. I'm older than I look. I'm going to be like 80 in another 30 years. But still coming. Um, there should be a police, a, a uh, documentary on corruption in the police force. I think I already have the name. It would be called, you know, because some of the stuff really stinks. So I think it would be called Law and Order. Law and Order. <laughs> and uh, actually, I, I'm a little torn. I hope this doesn't affect, I don't care if it affects anyone. <laughs> I get a little torn because I do support Black Lives Matter. I think huge injustices, these guys in prisons, like it's just very sad, all the statistics and all that. But I also think there's a need for policing. I think there's a need for, you know, some, some of that stuff. So it's weird, because I think my bumper sticker would be like, I support the black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna end the day tonight. <laughs>